Okay, so we're gonna talk about elasticity of supply in this video and really taking a look back in, at our two graphs. Now these two graphs, uh, they also highlight the need for the following. They highlight the need for a measure of the responsiveness of the quantity supplied to a price change. Now we looked at this with respect to demand in the past video, but we didn't really look at how the supply affects it. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. And we're gonna look at that through the elasticity of supply. Now the elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of the quantity supplied to a change in price of a good when all other influences on selling plans remain the same. In other words, uh, the elasticity of supply pretty much looks at how the how the providers uh, respond to to uh, a change in price, and that's pretty much it. And the formula is again pretty similar to what we are uh, what we were handling before. It's the percentage change in quantity supplied over the percentage change in price. So. Uh, it's much different than the elasticity of demand, but not that that much difference. They're both still percentage changes, but now it's percentage change in quantity supplied uh, and percentage change in price. So let's just go through an example to really help us understand how this uh, this new elasticity of supply works. So this is an example. The price rises from twenty dollars to thirty dollars. So um, so let's just go through this. So the price rise, the price rise, the price rise from twenty to thirty dollars. That is actually a price rise of ten dollars, of ten dollars. So the price rise was ten dollars, and Let's look at the average price. The average price for that is $25. And the average is always easy to, to get. It's simply 20 plus 30, taking our two amounts and adding them and dividing by two. Now that we have that, we can get the percentage change in quantity, uh, in quantity supplied. And that is simply from the change in price over the P average or the average price. And that is uh, equal to 10 over 25, uh, and then we, which is 0.4, and then we times that by 100 to give us 40%. Okay, so far so good. Now let's take a look at the quantity. So in this example, the quantity increased from 10 to 13 pizzas an hour. So uh, much the same as before, we're going to have um, find the amount of pizzas that or we're just gonna find the quantity change so the quantity increased uh, by 3 from 10 to 13 to 13 pizzas that's 3 pizzas and the average qu quantity the average quantity average quantity is uh, is 11.5 pizzas an hour if I'm correct because we take uh, a 10 plus 13, that equals 23, and we divide it by 2 to give us 11.5. And then we're going to find the percentage change in quantity supplied. So then that's delta Q for the change in quantity over the average quantity, which we, uh, which, which we dub Q, Q average. Now that is pretty much 3 over 11.5. And... That gives us a total of uh, well. Uh, that gives, so that gives us a total of uh, twenty six percent because three over eleven point five is point two six times by hundred we get twenty six percent. So really, the elasticity of supply. Let me change colors. The elasticity. Whoa! What happened there? No problem. Just erase that. The elasticity of supply is just taking our calculations, which is um, this percentage change in quantity supplied, which is 26%, dividing that by the percentage change in price. The percentage change in price we calculated was 40%, and 
and that overall gives us 0.65 and that's our elasticity of supply now in the next video we're gonna uh, go through some uh, short notes and uh, we're gonna stop at that I think, think or we're gonna look at more factors that influence elasticity of supply but other than that please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching